Hi guys, it's Colette, and today we're going to be working on this water marble using the Hollow Taco Pastel Rainbow Collection. If you love nail art, be sure you subscribe to my channel, My Simple Little Pleasures, and if you'd like to see how I did this, just stay tuned. Starting out with clean dry nails, we're going to begin with a base coat. Today I'm using Hollow Taco's Peely Base. You can use whichever is your personal favorite. For the water marble today, I'll be using all seven colors from the Hollow Taco Pastel Rainbow Collection, which was sent to me as PR. We have Lavender Syrup, Pink Fizz, Coral Chaser, Peach Tea, Lemon Spritzer, Mint Mojito, and Sparkling Water. For my base color, I'll be using Hollow Taco Not Milky White, and once I have that applied, I'll be protecting around my nails with tape as well as protective peel. As usual, for a water marble, I'm working in a 5 ounce paper cup filled with room temperature filtered water. Once I have the bullseye complete, I'm going to go ahead and draw from the center out to the sides in 8 directions. And then once I've done that, I'm going to pick the one that I like best and turn that into a petal. Once I've got the petal formed, I'm going to line up my nail with the tip toward the pointy end. Try to make sure it's lined up fairly straight and then go ahead and dip into the cup. With my orange stick, I'm going to clean up any of that excess polish so it doesn't stick to my design. And then, once everything is clean, I'm going to go ahead and slowly pull out, which should pop those bubbles. And there's the water marble. I'm going to go ahead and use a tweezer to help out removing this protection. Then I'm going to go ahead and marble the rest of my nails.
once I'm done marbling all my nails, I'm gonna go ahead and clean up using a Q-tip and acetone for any larger spots, then going in closer with my usual small brush and acetone. Once I'm finished with that, I'll go ahead and push flat any bubbles. Once cleanup's complete, you can finish everything off with a top coat. And as usual, I'm using Sesh Feet. Here's the finished manicure, and I really like how this turned out. I wanted to keep it simple, and I actually considered revisiting the same design that I used for last year's rainbow collection, but I decided to switch it up a little bit, and I'm glad that I did. Of course, hollow's gonna hollow best with slightly more direct lighting or sunlight, so let me grab the flashlight. And if you need even a bit more flashlight time than I'm providing here, please feel free to check out the extended tutorial that will be up here on YouTube shortly. And if you'd like to join me live for nail art, you can come follow over at twitch.tv slash ColettaMSLP. I'd love to hear what you guys think of this one down in the comments. I hope you all enjoyed, and if you did, I hope you'll leave a thumbs up. And of course, as always, thanks for watching.